Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hectic few weeks for me because I'm in the process of moving house. That's right, I'm leaving the Midlands where I've been for the last couple of years and heading down south. I'm still staying in England but moving a little bit further down south, hopefully chasing that sun. So I am leaving the Midlands in two weeks time which is also around about two weeks before Christmas with my husband, my dog and my 10 month old baby, it's going to be pretty busy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've still been managing to take some swing trades in my account with the five percenters and I'm going to show you a nice trade that I took, trading USD yen, where I managed to gain four times what I was risking for that trade. So let's jump onto the charts and I'll share with you the strategy that I used to gain four times my profit on USD yen. Okay guys, so here I am in TradingView, which is the software that I use for my charting, for technical analysis, and for planning a trade. Now I'm going to use the useful backtesting tool we've got here, the bar replay, to go back in time to where I was prior to getting into this trade short. And let's jump onto the daily time frame to establish what exactly I was looking at for this trade. So as you can see, price has been moving higher. We've been making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, a little higher high and higher low, and a high here. And what was quite interesting about this is although we've been in this strong uptrend, recently price has been starting to break down, making lower lows and lower highs, a low here and lower high. But this was the most interesting point, is this huge bearish momentum candle that blasted through the previous higher low and closed below it and then started to consolidate. Now this is a classic example of a possible trend shift and so when I saw this I immediately thought I wanted to look for a retest of this area to look for a position short. And zooming further here into the more recent price action on the daily, I drew this trend line which was the previous pullback that we had where price made a lower low and a lower high. And if I copy and just drag this trend line and apply it to the recent low here, it perfectly takes us into the same space as this previous structure level. So I knew that I wanted to see price pull back to this level and that's why I wanted to get in for a trade short. Once I'd established that on the daily, I dropped down to the Farley time frame, which was the time frame that I was looking for for planning my trade entry, my stop and my target using the swing trading approach. So really zooming into the most recent price action on the 4 hourly, I was very interested in this area here where price had that immediate breakthrough, it pulled back to retest and then it dropped down from there. And what I was looking for was for price to come back to this area here and perhaps make a double top pattern which would provide a nice place for an entry short. Price pushed up into that area where I had an alert set so when that alert went off I was definitely watching this quite closely. And on the Monday, the 10 o'clock closing candle was a small bearish candle here with an upper wick rejection. And once we got that, I set my position short. Now I wanted a retest of the highs here. So I actually set my order as a sell limit, looking for price to have another attempt at breaking through the structure. And I used quite a large stop for this because we are looking on the four hour here. I'm looking for a swing trading position and I wanted to have a stop that's clearly above this previous structure level. So I used an 80 pip stop. And for my target, I was looking for a push down to retest these lows. Now I was considering breaking past this low, but because we had this huge wick rejection, I wasn't convinced that price was going to drop that far. So I used a 4R target, which was basically to these lows here. Price pushed up into my trade entry and triggered me short into this position. Now I took quite an aggressive entry really. I got in just off the one candlestick before waiting for the clear break of structure. Now as you can see, as this is unfolding, I guess a better entry would have been to wait for this structure here to be broken with momentum, which is what we're getting now, and to maybe look for some kind of retest up here for an entry short. But with a bit of patience and allowing the trade to play out, it managed to drop down to my 4R target and I got a really nice win on this trade. Using pretty simple methods, just following structure from the daily time frame, looking for a break and a retest and then another retest of that initial break. And just having a look now coming out of the back testing view, we can see that after I got out of this trade with my profit, price did consolidate a little bit here, but it looks like it's having another push down. So we did actually get the push past the lows. I could have maybe 
waited to get some more profit or maybe just taken partial profits and leave some in the trade. These are all lessons that come with trading. Whether you lose, whether you win, there's always something to learn. There's always a way that you can grow and develop as a trader. And that's what I tend to do is once I am out of a trade, I tend to screenshot it, I make some notes and I save it so that I can reflect on it later and constantly strive to grow and be better every day as a trader. But I hope that this just gives you a little insight into some of the methods, some of the tricks that I use with my technical analysis and with planning a swing trade. So the next few weeks are going to be rather busy for me with moving, with Christmas coming up. I'm going to try to keep uploading content to share with you guys. But to be honest, over the Christmas period, I'm probably going to take some time off from trading because I'm starting to really feel the burn. Don't know if you guys get that, that kind of burnout feeling, that mental foggy fatigue. <laughs> I don't know whether that's normal with trading, whether it's normal for this time of year, whether it's just normal having a 10 month old baby and trying to trade alongside that. But whatever it is, I'm going to listen to my body and I'm going to try and give myself a break, have a few weeks off from trading and hopefully return a little bit more refreshed, making better decisions. Meanwhile, I keep you guys posted about how everything goes and develops with Move, wish me luck. <laughs> and I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please let me know by hitting that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.